on 5th of September 2021, the Archbishop of the Orthodox Church Namungona Yonaluanga passed on at the age of 76 in the Greek city of Athens, where he had gone to receive treatment. To mark one year since his demise, the church today held a special mass in remembrance to thank him for contributions to the establishment. The mass which was held at St. Nicholas Church Namungona was led by the Archbishop Leron Mos Musei, who was assisted by the Bishop of Gulu, Niktalias Kabwe. In his message, Leron Mos Musei praised the late Yonalonga. <laughs> Atera Ate Yesu Kristo kwa ya gama, anti chandi bade chiru uja, webe ya sitaza. We sivu olu vengo, tukusure limu nyanja. Otu vile dara. Uluwa alero, tuja guza, uluwa chitafi. Yali musajja, ate tirira. <laughs> Ngechibia achogera, anti chichi. E chirungi nti chichi, ensobi neva achi, na fe tu goverere e kubo, ya chita fe, biyalimu, tu sobolo kubera anga dana nijari musanifu, kubera tu zewan, neyo kubera anga tu jawan, atenga tu ogera rudicha, lero chino, lero chiri ebe tebiga sa. The last Yona Luanga is remembered for his brutal honesty and for his fight for the truth, justice and rights of people. The area member of parliament of Ramiaga and at the same time a church member, Theodel Sechukubo, used this platform to advise government to find immediate solutions for the high price of fuel. And the skyrocketing of prices start from fuel. Once you have fuel prices high, it means that the transport will be high as well. And Uganda is a landlocked country. Uganda has no functioning ports and harbors. Uganda has no functioning railway system. So all goods and services are transported by road. Therefore, once you increase the price of fuel, it means that all these other prices are going to increase. We welcome the, 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 the planning of government. And the president, we welcome his view that we should go electric. Yes, but currently, electricity and electric border borders, electric buses, electric motor vehicles are not in existence. That is a vision for 20 years to come, and that cannot save the situation now. We call upon government, if we can subsidize on other useless things, why not subsidize on fuel so that we can tame the inflation? You cannot talk about a function that no, you wait for, we shall be bringing you border border vehicles, motorcycles that use electricity for charging. Where are the charging hubs? Where you say that on the main road, people are going to be parking and charging their motorcycles. Where are they charging for the bus? Even himself, the president, in his convoy, which vehicle in his convoy uses electric power? So that one is futuristic. Sachikubo also spoke out against government's decision to back the Nyege Nyege festival. Now, as parliament put its position clear that Nyege Nyege is undesirable, but we are extremely concerned when the executive are trying to countermand and overrule the legislature. Because parliament, its cardinal and constitutional role is the oversight function. The oversight function means that you look at the entire country called Uganda 
and you guide accordingly. But we are deeply saddened and concerned that the current government and the executive are choosing to ignore the position of parliament in its constitutional mandate to oversee the activities of government. So we call upon government to adhere to the separation of arms of government, but also to respect the decisions, not only of the judiciary, but the decisions of the legislature. You can fault them. They could have been wrong here and there, but once the position is reached and the decision is taken by parliament, that decision must be respected and must be adhered to. And should government go ahead to allow the nyege nyege to take place, we shall come up with a, with a substantive motion to put government to order. The Archbishop Musei, together with Christians, graced the graveyard of the late Yona Longa. Safi, Mokile Balogun, Chris, Semalemus Semakola for CTV, Pium Edition.